a way to get around everywhere it seems in Jeddah is not by public transport by Uber and here I am now at uh, the Red Sea Mall which is a little bit different to where I've been staying so let's see let's see what this is like Anybody that watches my vlogs regularly will recognise your face. You're one of the regulars anyway. And yeah. you made it all the way out here. Maybe yeah, yeah. Someone caught me in Serbia and sort of said to me, doom and gloom sometimes. I'm on, 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 your, on your vlog like, but I think it was like sort of um, joke way having a laugh like. But yeah, it's great to be here and um, it's great that we've got to the final. But it's going to be one tough game against Fluminense. You know, it's not easy against, against these Brazilians. You know, you know what they're capable of. So hopefully we'll have to be no, that, that much better. I'm assuming that, and I don't mean this in a, the wrong way, please don't take that, this has cost you a lot to get here, and I'm, I'm guessing oh. that you're not a millionaire or something, so... No, no, um, tell you the truth, I'll, I'll be truthful, I'm working class and, and it's fur coat and no knickers out, if I can say that, like, you know, but uh, no, it, it costs me a lot of money, and yeah, enjoy, enjoy what I do, and yeah, you know, what else is it? I mean, people say to me, yeah, you could buy yourself a big house, a big fancy car, if I bought a big house, all the other bills would come like like highest electric bills, high gas bills, things like that. So I'm so better off doing what I'm doing, watching City and enjoying myself. Is it fair to describe City as your life then? Well, you can blame me granddad for that, for taking me to, taking me to Main Road for the first time in 81. So I never looked back since and um, I would support before my granddad was a, was a Scotsman like. So, but yeah, it's, yeah, City's my life, but also my daughter's my life as well, Alicia as well, she's my life as well. I mean, and she's enjoying coming here as well to, to, to great places like Saudi Arabia. I'm sure, like me, although I don't know how old you are, that you were there when City were low down, two divisions down, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, def, def, definitely. You know, there's, there's times where I'd be heading, heading my hands at Lincoln away, being with a lad called Rob Leggett, who's a cube who's like a disabled lad in wheelchair. So that season, I took him to most of the away games that season, where he could come, come with me. But when I, I'm going every game there, and then place like Lincoln it and in my hands and I remember York City when Craig Russell was our best player that day and he got substituted so there's little things like that I mean getting beat by Wickham at home you know and away they did a double on us and so you can imagine how far you know we've gone low and all of a sudden we've incredibly come back so we just need to win on Friday just to make sure you know where we've been don't forget where we've been and all of a sudden, that's been number one in the world. Was the lowest the lowest point for me was Mansfield at home in the also win Yeah, they did two nil, and I think we signed two a guy one, peak. Two one. Two one. I think we signed a guy peak. I was one of the four thousand there. Three thousand and seven. Three thousand, right? So there's a guy called Peak. I'm not going to argue because you're better than stats than me. But uh, the guy called Peacock who scored twice, I think, and yet we we, we signed we signed him. We, we did. signed him later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. here we are in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. And yeah. on Friday, it's the world, the Club World Cup final. Did you ever, ever think that would happen? No, no. I no, never, never expected that. I mean, the, the first time I ever watched the World Cup as a kid is when Flamengo beat Liverpool 3 0 in 81. Like, you know, dead taking back was in Tokyo. And I think the, the guy who got man in a match, he, he won a car and things like that. And the trophy was absolutely, I think it was like 12 of us who put together the trophy, what they, what they had to lift. And I remember watching. We got the chance for the English clubs who played in the world, world Cup, like your Villas and your Liverpools at a time before they got before they got banned from Europe. But yeah, but look at look at the competition now. It's it's, it's incredible. I mean, it goes to America in 2025. It's going to be even more more incredible. Well, let's hope we get this World Cup on Friday. That, that's what we need, and that'll be the icing on the cake for us all. But we still want to keep going out and winning trophies and putting a, putting a big smile on people's faces. I'm pretty sure I won't get to America in 2025 because. It's just too big and too expensive. But I have a feeling I, I, you I'm, might I'm, try. I'm going to give it a good go, and I'm sure you'll give it a good go. And um, hopefully you'll be in America like, like the rest of us, and I'm sure you will do. Well, I, I doubt it. But anyway, it's great to see you here. And good, and good, to, see, good to see you guys, and good to see everyone. And, you know, you met, met a lot of people out of here, and even as even even I met the, um, the Saudi Arabian Ian Cheeseman, they've been interviews on their, on their phones and stuff like that, So, which, which is good. And yeah, it's... it's Good place. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's good. Once you get back home, though, back to Riyadh at Christmas and back working hard, so I can go and see the Blues again. It's great being a blue, isn't it? 
I said, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You, you know, Manchester City hopefully on Friday, number one. What do you think the chances are of Fluminese winning the game then? Um, I think, I don't know. I hope that we win. We know that City is... A a it, yeah, it's a very good team. But we believe until the very last second and Fluminense it has a good team, it has a good players, it has a good coach. So I don't know, I just think that maybe, possibly we can win. I think it's 50-50. You just got very excited about seeing Erling Haaland walking around in here. Yes. And so when you look from Brazil at City, are they the best team in the world at the moment? Um, I would, at the current, I, I don't know, like early in the year, sure. But right now, um, on the Premier League, City, you know, it's it's in the far, it's in the fourth position. So it's you know not the first one, but I I do believe that it's one of the like top three for sure, City. And what do you think of City? It's actually City. It's good, good team. Good team. Um, he think it, they are above like the above everyone. He thinks it's the best. Good so much. Yes, the players are world class. They are just unbelievable you know they can play they can run the way they control the ball is just out of this world Mas nós no yeah but we believe in fluminense we always do what do you think of this world club cup then is it important in brazil um yes um we call it the mundial and it's very important it's like the biggest um championship that we can have. I know that for you, for Europeans, the Champions League is bigger than the this the World Cup club. But for us, this is bigger than I would say Libertadores, which is like the Champions League of South America. So somebody told me, a Brazilian supporter who's also a journalist, that if Fluminense win this Club World Cup, there'll be a big parade in Rio. Yes, and... yes, there will be a big, big party, big party. And it's awesome for Brazilian football in general because usually the winner of the World Cup is the Champions League winner. So for us to win, it would it would be a, it would be very nice. Well, let's see who the best team yes. is. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. So look who's here in Starbucks. The city players obviously come down to. Uh, See you around the area. You all right? Yeah, how are you? Looking forward to Friday. This area around here is called the Corniche, which is a little bit better off, I think, than the area where my hotel is. And I've got a feeling that one of them hotels behind me. The Jeddah Hilton might be where the city team are staying, uh, but we'll just watch the sunset. And I know it's hard to imagine when you're just watching a video, but it's still very pleasant and very warm here. It's a gentle breeze. Well, it's quite an adventure coming here, and uh, people are people all over the world, and I've got to say that there have been some lovely people who have been very kind and very helpful over here it doesn't matter where you go I've been lucky enough to travel with City well not with City but supporting City all over the world places like Russia uh, the Faroe Islands uh, Abu Dhabi here to Saudi Arabia all over Europe and no matter what they are the countries whatever political regimes they've got the ordinary people are fantastic that's my experience anyway and this is no different uh, an amazing city and uh, an amazing journey so far and uh, one particular guy and his, his two lads have, have been with me all day today and uh, it's been great to meet them and you're going to meet one of them now Ben so you're a Manchester lad really um, but you don't live there anymore so what does a trip like this mean to you yeah, that's right, Ian. So I've I've lived in uh, in Dubai for uh, the last 13 years. Originally from Denton, still get back to see games when I can, but it's very difficult to get home. And uh, I obviously want the boys to be Blues. It's not difficult with the success we've been having the past few years. So for us to be able to come over from Dubai, 
uh, to see the Blues in two games is just fantastic, really good. And the World Club Cup, the Club World Cup, to many City fans back in Manchester, doesn't matter. How do you feel about it? Um, I think I, I'm with, with Pep on this one. I think, you know, it's a good trophy to win. I think we'd be, you know, touch wood, we'd be the first English club to win these five trophies in a calendar year if we can do it. So that's how tough uh, an ask it is. Um, I think winning any major trophy is a, a big plus and I've supported City long enough to know that winning any trophy is a big plus. So for me, it's, it's hugely important. And obviously, the other thing I wanted to ask you about really was, without going into the details, we know that Saudi Arabia is, is a country that a lot of people look at and you know aren't comfortable about, if you like, and you live in Abu Dhabi. Now, I've come here unjudgmentally because it's just where City are playing. How do you feel? Do you have any opinions about this trip or, or where you live and, and City's connection even? Um, I mean, that's a, a quite a complex issue and a, a complicated question. Um, I think that if you're looking at, if you approach that question from the aspect of club ownership, you've got club owners who come from everywhere. Um, if you're asking me about, you know, this part of the world, it's like anywhere else, it's got its good points and it's got its bad points. Um, I'm very happy with what happened with the ownership of my club. And I think if other clubs looked at um, themselves a little bit more closely rather than criticising our club for who owns us and what they've done with us, I think um, maybe fan zones would be a happier place. And what I've said is that wherever I've travelled all over the world, lovely lovely people i've met some lovely people here including yourself of course but i'm talking about the locals there are good people everywhere aren't there there are yeah absolutely and um we've we've spent some time together today ian with uh, you and my family and we've everywhere we've gone we've seen smiles people have been talking to us about the football um and they've all been ve been very friendly and i think that's right you know and people talk about the city family and wherever you go, you see, you know, like-minded people. But when they're blues, it's always a bit nicer as well because you've just got that common connection. And after three questions, you know exactly which street they've, they've lived on, where they've grown up. You're probably two degrees of separa away, separation away from knowing someone that they know, which is fantastic. And we've flown, you know, a few hundred miles. You've flown 3,000 miles. And we've had a chat today and we've discovered many things in common. And that's what... I like about supporting City, wherever you go, wherever you follow them around the world, you, you'll speak to fellow fans and we all come together and it's just a great community. I told you, I meet all sorts of people on these trips and that's one of the reasons why it's great to be a Blue.